As I walked out of the car and headed into Kentucky Country Day, I was bothered once again with the feeling of anxiety and fear forming inside of me. Every time things seem to be settling down for me and I finally feel comfortable, I am uprooted and sent into a row of form customs, or so it seems. Each place, while similar in so many ways, at first seems to only possess different qualities from the previous. I turn onto the 8th grade hallway as I wave goodbye to my brother. Heads turn as I walk down the hallway, their familiar looks filled with pity for the new girl. I'm only 13 years old and having started moving when I was very young, have already moved 9 times in my life, having marked my presence in 8 different states and 1 different country. I remember only 5 places, but for me they are significant enough to make me feel like I remember all 8. Those 5 places start with Singapore, Ohio, Massachusetts, California, and then Minnesota, and they all have a special place in my heart. But each one being so short-lived makes me feel sadness as often as happiness whenever I think of them. Kentucky is now right in front of me, waiting for me to make my stamp across it. But do I really want to make the effort this time? Why should I keep building a life just to have it erased again within a few years? Various instances where I have encountered these same feelings surface and I am overcome with memories, distant yet so close I feel I can relive them right there in that hallway. And I do. I am brought back to Los Angeles when my mom walked me to school for my first day of 5th grade. The comfort of the Los Angeles breeze almost distracted me from the feeling in my stomach. Almost until I was suddenly by myself walking down the sidewalk to my classroom, my mom having just hugged me goodbye and wishing me luck on my first day of school. My mother's farewell was so commonplace in my life every one to two years that if it didn't come, I'd probably feel something was wrong. I know she was just trying to make me feel better, but many questions went through my head anyway, like why does my family have to move all the time and why can't we ever just stay in one place? The answer I already knew, my dad's job and constant promotions. Already knowing the answer still didn't keep me from asking those questions. Sometimes, when everything feels like it is falling apart, all you can do is ask yourself why. A year later, my dad was promoted again, this time to Minneapolis, Minnesota. When they told me, the tears came like they always did. There was no preventing them because every time we moved, I felt like it was the last time and threw myself wholeheartedly into making a life again. So why shouldn't the tears have come? They were deserving. Deserving because I always tried to have an optimistic view just to have it shattered with reality. But no matter how deserving they were, the future was still inevitable. A clean slate that I didn't want in my life because even through the ups and the downs, I was proud of what I had done at Calvin. Minnesota wouldn't be proud of what I had done there because they couldn't see it. And still it didn't matter because I was going to have to prove my worth once again, just like I had done in California. As I close my locker and zip my backpack up, shaking slightly from the nerves, I'm brought back into reality, back into my first day of 8th grade at Kentucky Country Day. I look up and see the other new girl sitting beside me. Having met her once before, I sit down beside her, comfortable knowing there is someone else in the same situation as me. I realize more with every move that this is part of my life, and it helps define me. Why fret over something that is uncontrollable, and why not make the best of it? Maybe what I've become accustomed to throughout all these moves, although difficult as they are, has set me up to succeed some way in the future. I am familiar with the challenges that face me, and I will not let them stop me from succeeding once again. Maybe this time really will be the last time, and I can stay here until I graduate. Thinking this, a sliver of hope rises in me. Yeah, right, I think, but there sure isn't any harm in dreaming.